Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we're going to take a look at the Refine Edge tool in Photoshop CS6. The first thing you want to do is, if the image is your background layer, go ahead and unlock that layer. Once you've done that, you now want to make a copy of that layer. So go ahead and right click on that layer and then duplicate that layer. It's always a good idea when doing this to have a copy, a fresh copy of that original layer. Now, go ahead and put that layer underneath the original layer. Next thing that you want to do is go ahead and hide that copy layer. Select the original layer and go ahead and grab your quick selection tool, which is right up here. You now want to select your subject that is in the photograph here. So we're going to go ahead and select as good as we can here around the hair strands and that kind of thing there. So let's get, you want to get this initial selection to be as close as possible, especially around the hair there. All right, once we've done that, we then want to go up to the top of the screen and click on the Refine Edge button, which is right up here. The Refine Edge panel box will now open up you have a number of options you can choose from. You can have this to be displayed on black. You can have it overlay. You can have it as the marching ants, which is the you know blinking lines like normal. I'm gonna leave mine on overlay or on black. That's what I normally do, but I'm gonna do overlay for this specific tutorial. So go ahead and do that. Go ahead and select a check mark by smart radius right there, okay? And then the next thing you want to do is increase that radius. It all depends on the picture, and you're going to have to play around with it just a little bit. I'm going to leave mine right at 2.2. Once you've done that, you want to go up here and click and hold and select your Refine Radius tool. Once you've done that, you then want to go and paint around the hair. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm going in, and you do not want to paint anything but the hair area where you're trying to refine the edge, okay? So once we've done that, you're just clicking and holding and painting and then releasing the mouse. Once you're finished painting around the edges there, you wanna go down here and select the decontaminate colors option right here and leave it right at 50%. And then you want this to output to a new layer with a layer mask. That's if you want to move this you know, object to another background, which I assume you do. And then click on the OK button right there. We now have a very good selection of this image with all of the hair so it doesn't look unnatural. Okay, So we now can use this image and place it on another background. So if you go down here and you add another layer and you make this layer your background layer and change the color to a solid color. So let's say we're going to change this to a, um, let's go ahead and change that to a black layer there. Click OK. You can now see the hair does not look unnatural at all. And that's all done with the Refine Edge tool within Adobe Photoshop. Now, I hope this video helped you. If it did, go ahead and put a comment in the box below. Let me know that. If not, and you have any questions, put those in the comment box as well. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you watching my videos, and I will see you guys next time.